Hello, it's Will Dean. I hope you're well. I'm here in the cabin. If there's some background noise, it's the stream outside, the kind of uh, meltwater stream. It's quite noisy. My dog drinks out of it a lot. Uh, if that's if there's a noise, that's it. Today, I'm going to talk about mountain tops. So a military man once told me that when you are rucking, when you're trekking with your with your Birkin on, you're often always focused on the next mountain top. Or if you're like a professional mountain climber, you're often focused on the next mountain. And this struck me being a writer, this kind of a similar dynamic sometimes. Like you're always focused on the next book. You're excited about the next book or the book after that. You're focused on the book tour in the US that you're going to do next year. You're focused on uh, the next book deal when you go out on submission. You're focused on uh, your next work in progress you're going to query agents with. And what this guy told me that struck me so much is it's okay to like focus on the next mountain or look for the mountain top. He was talking about the fact that, you know, that phenomenon where you're walking up a mountain or a hill and you think you can see the top and you can never quite see the top. So you're always slightly frustrated because you never get there. It's kind of similar, I think, with writers. So, so if you're always looking at that thing that you're aiming for, sometimes you don't realise that the, the view where you already are is quite spectacular in its own way. So he was saying, you know, stop and enjoy the view. So he was saying, you know, aim for the mountaintop, but stop and enjoy the view. And it's so right. And I'm not always very good at this, I must admit. In fact, I'm pretty terrible at it. But like when you have a, when you finish a first draft, enjoy the view for an evening, you know, celebrate that. When you get a full request from an agent, enjoy the view. When you win a prize for your book, enjoy the view. Often for me, even on nights when I have won a prize, a big prize, or when I have reached a particular goal, or I have signed a deal with a movie producer for one of my books for an adaptation, really what's in my head is the next book still. I'm worrying about the next book, or I'm thinking about the next book. And it's very difficult sometimes to just stop and enjoy the view, you know? Don't look for the next mountain top, but just stop and be like, 10 years ago, I was, trying and failing to get an agent and now I've just signed a deal uh, with a theatre company or I've signed a deal with another publisher for a short story anthology I'm going to contribute one short story. like whatever it is however big however small it's good to acknowledge it my wife is better at this than I am um, I must admit but don't always look for that mountaintop that thing you're going to do next year that next big book that change in genre but the, the small thing you're doing this week, take a moment and acknowledge it's taken a lot of work, a lot of dedication to get to this point. And uh, like, pat yourself on the back. Just be like, okay, this is also, the view is good, you know. I think that's important to do. Because fundamentally, to become a good novelist, to become a good writer, to be good, good at anything, you need to, you need to dedicate years and years and years to it. And part of that is looking after yourself so that you have that longevity. So enjoy the view.